Peter and another vid. Um, didn't quite get a chance to do a live dig yesterday evening. Um, but yeah, really interesting uh, permission uh, to do some land in Cardiff. Um, and uh, yeah, a couple of finds in front of me here. Um, and some interesting finds um, uh, from some of the other lads that are doing a dig as well. Um, I'll tell you about those in a few moments, but um, yeah, loads and loads of spendies, uh, there are too many to put on the table in fact, uh, 20p's, pennies, 2p's, uh, 5p's, you name it, um, and uh, of course uh, some pound coins on the table, we all like spendies, um, so yeah, uh, I, I got £4, uh, one of the other uh, lads, uh, I think he reported about £7 pound coins, um, and uh, again, similar uh, number of coins between some of the other lads as well. Uh, so yeah, that was a, that's always nice to have a couple of pound coins on your dig. So um, I'll get them cashed in before they expire, I think. Right, okay. Um, so yeah, 1963 uh, shilling. Um, one of the couple of nickel ones with Elizabeth on the back. A um, little bit unsure how to clean these, to be honest. So if you have any advice on... Uh, Giving them a nice uh, clean down um, so they come up shiny, please, uh, please do tell. Um, I've damaged quite a few coins in the process of learning, um, especially the copper ones. So, any advice on cleaning copper coins and cleaning the cupel and nickel coins, um, please uh, drop me a comment on the uh, video. Um, but yeah, you can see you know, the details there. It's just a case of getting it down to some nice, uh, some nice bare metal really on that one. Um, so yeah, what else we got on here? So we've got a penny, um, looks like an 1865 actually, so there's definitely some history on this site, um, going back into the possible you know, mid, mid 1800s, maybe even earlier, you don't know. Um, so we'll find out in due course as we do those digs, if there's anything a bit old uh, underground. Um, also got a uh, 1899 Vicky penny again. Um, Again, it looks in really nice condition, but it's just a case of uh, cleaning some of that grime off um, without destroying the patina on there. So um, I could do with some help and clean some of these up. Um, 1925 half penny. We've got Edward on there this time. Um, nice detail actually on that one. So yeah, that'd be nice when it's cleaned up. Um, well, it looks like a 14s uh, ship, uh, ship penny, or half, yeah, half penny, sorry. Um, again, really nice condition, uh, loads of detail on there, just need to get that grime off. And again, another ship, uh, half penny, uh, really nice detail on this one, you can just see, you can see the head there. Um, so that's got nice and cleaned. And then another half penny, uh, a little bit more difficult to see on this one. Um, yeah, 1907, there you go. So, um, yeah, you know, that's a, another old half penny there. Um, anyway, saving the best till last, um, I found this uh, hat badge or hat pin, uh, however you want to call it. Um, I had a quick Google last night when I got home, and uh, it's a Royal Northumberland Fusiliers. Um, so, yeah, it's a nice little find to find something like that down there. Um, I presume this this front here would have been maybe a silvery metal of some kind. You can see it's a little bit redder than, than the surrounding uh, metal on the back there. Um, and this uh, this would have been the, you know a goldy uh, brass perhaps. Um, but yeah, it's survived intact, um, and it's nice to see the 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 clasp on the back there um, hasn't broken off because. Whenever I seem to dig buttons up, you know, the, 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 the welds or the joins there um, are so brittle, uh, they just fall apart. So yeah, um, nice little find out. I'm going to have a little try and clean that. I don't want to overdo it because you can just see the text as you come around there. Quo, quo fat uh, vocans. So I, I presume that's Latin. Um, um, but anyway, it was enough to help me find the, uh, the, the, the badge. Uh, on Google and um, and get an idea on there. Um, yeah, so talking uh, about some of the other lads that were digging, um, we had uh, one guy you know, dug up a lovely um, oh, lady's uh, pocket watch. Um, really nice gilding on there. It looked to be two-tone. Um, there was gold uh, rim around the edge and uh, silver backed with uh, an enamel or a ceramic plate on there. So he really struck lucky. And I think a few of the other guys 
pulled up uh, various badges uh, of different ages. Um, so yeah, it was a very, very interesting dig. Um, and I will definitely be reporting, um, you know, or hopefully reporting live uh, on one of those in the near future. Anyway, that's all for today. Um, so, fingers crossed, live dig um, next week. Um, the after of the weekend, unless I get out on the weekend, I don't think I will. Um, so yeah, look out for that. It's up in North Wales. Um, so um, yeah, it should be it should be fun. Uh, in the meantime, happy hunting. Have a nice weekend, and I shall see you soon. Right, over and out. Ta-ra.